Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the fifth episode of Soda Demo Machiwa Mawateiru. In last episode, we got some real insight into our teacher and exactly what makes him to him all of his uh, traumatic backstory stuff, like the teacher, you know, that became his like number one enemy, you know, the whole math question and stuff like that. Just that that did not sit well with him for a long time, and you know, Adashiyama became like the second of that category a person to him you know and he even talked about potential time slips or whatever at some point and he's just he's an interesting guy like he's a really interesting character i'm kind of glad he's in the show like back in episode one or whenever he showed up i didn't think too much of him really but yeah at this point i'm kind of I'm, I'm glad he's in the show he's an, he's an important part of it you know generally i focus more on the girls and he's kind of and any kind of show really but uh, i like him he's, he's he's quite something so yeah i think we were i think tori toriko was her name right toshi toshi to Toshiko, I, it was, I was close. I was close. So she, I think we're going to get focused on her this episode, if I remember correctly. But yeah, let's find out one way or the other. So let's dive on in. Three, two, one. Play. Are we... Title. The Amazingly Strange Tosh, Tosh, Toshiko's something else. Every cloud is unique. Hey, yeah, cat. <laughs> oh wow Sc screening of what is it a good is it good <laughs> we can't have that we can't have that I mean overlapping characters would be terrible yeah this is a very shaft shot we have right now the black bars and everything oh yeah she likes Sonata that's a thing I sometimes forget about that because it hasn't been relevant for a while but yeah that's a thing so yeah, I guess just trying to go, gonna try to go on a date this episode. We'll see how that goes. Because yeah, so Sona, Sonada, like he hasn't been much of a character really in the show. So him I could, you know, do without. But we'll see. Maybe this episode will make me like him more. Probably not, but you know, we'll see. Uki Uki. Uki Uki. I tried to sing along, but they didn't quite work. You know, that shot makes me think of how interesting it would be if two maids were, like, literally battling each other while not trying not to drop the, their tray. Like, that as some kind of competitive sport. That'd be, that'd be something. I'd watch that. <laughs> I mean, combat maids are kind of a thing, right? So it could just be sort of an extension of that. Given households have their combat maid battle each other for, for fame and glory. I don't know. It's just a thought I had. So I thought I'd share it with you all. Ten days left until the screening. Okay, so we do have time to get something figured out. Art room. Cannot, cannot be broken, huh? <laughs> well, too bad for you. She's not in love with you. Too bad for me, too. <laughs> yeah, I definitely... <laughs> oh, getting kind of close. <laughs> what embarrassing friends she has. Suitable. <laughs> I see. Yeah, but this is something concrete. <laughs> okay. Pretty smart. Yeah, it's a pretty good chance. We just gotta see if she can make the most of it. What was that Omaida Omaida written in? Like paint or Oh no, you can't do that. That's not cool. And don't talk with a mouthful, sensei. Hey, hey, ho. Oh. 
Okay, let me see it. <laughs> well, it's still a nice painting, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, it's a wonderful dog. I mean, how do you how do you follow that up? <laughs> okay, time is passing. Uh, that was yeah the the watch. So that's, that's some great walking. Very fancy. It almost looked like she was kind of flaunting that chest. Is just just me. <laughs> I what's what's it to you? <laughs> And are you her keeper? It's good to know. I mean, you could just take it off if it's if you need to. It's a summer maid uniform. <laughs> yeah, that would that'd be a lot. <laughs> Three days, okay, a lot of time has passed. We are running out quickly. It was that man using a... Look like a plunger that he was using as a, as a bat. <laughs> You're gonna run out of time at this rate, you really do need to... Just shut the window. <laughs> That's that is definitely a face that tells you she is up to no good. So is now the moment. You should, you know, invite him behind the gym and then ask him to go to the movie. Hey, you gotta you got speak up. Domico. Well, I mean, she tried. It's better luck next time. Yeah, didn't she want to invite him to a movie or something? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> It might, it's just it seems easier than it is. Because you could potentially be rejected. Okay, I mean, let's try again. <laughs> Measly, that's dangerous stuff. Also, you really shouldn't do that. Oh no. Oh no, this is... Okay, so she did land on him. Ow. I was like, oh, did she like barely miss? That's pretty skillful, and but I I guess not. <laughs> I don't think that's what he's saying. I <laughs> This is just a weirdly dramatic scene. We should probably leave before he starts starts up. I'd be an insane. Yeah, do you really want to take after Arashiyama? That's the main question. <laughs> really? Really? The Sakura pedals and everything. The lighting. <laughs> I mean, I have this some good work. But I think it is working. But... Okay, no, I think it did work. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you talking about?
Yeah, I just thought I would leave so I could give you two some alone time. Don't worry about it. And <laughs> he has arrived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good for you. I did not know that. Right? <laughs> She's listening so intently. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. <laughs> Great place to start, for sure. You know, out of context, that just looks a little bit, you know. <laughs> uh, I there there's a couple things wrong with that picture. <laughs> Wait, 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 what? What is happening? The amazingly weird card? Is this like a card game? <laughs> ah, of course. Who doesn't know that? That poor fairy warrior. <laughs> Turtle Knight. <laughs> when did I start watching Yu-Gi-Oh? I'll attack your life points directly. Rip. Well played, GG. Someone nerf Takedu. Yeah, let's not get that let's not get that for we'll fully go that far. We're playing a card game. Could you guys not, not interrupt, please? This is very important stuff. <laughs> Oh, you should show them. <laughs> I have no clue. A note. Wonder what it says. Maybe it's from her, I can... Oh, uh, really? Really? Uh, why? Why, 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 do you, why do you why do you want to? I, I, where, where is this going? I mean, it's hard to believe, but yeah, it's not what I was waiting for. I'm waiting for a girl to come over. Well, that one right there. Okay, she has really came. That name is almost. Looks like Isekai. Illegal. That's quite the sh shirt. Yeah, she's just a girl that just kind of invited herself over. I'm not quite sure what she wants. She's probably here to steal my cards. Getting right to the question. Well, yeah, but we're not like friends, so that's kind of weird. Um... <laughs> really? Wow. She is not my girlfriend. But we'll take the money. Yeah. Of course it wouldn't be. Just, you know, don't forget protection and all that. Always bring a shield in a combat. Uh, it looks kind of suspicious, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, my friends can't see me with a girl. I'll never be able to recover from that sort of... Uh, that sort of reputation damage. Maybe that was her strategy the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's traitor behavior there, you know? What are we gonna do with you, Takedu? 
I really am curious what her deal is here. Yeah, when do we get so familiar? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. Hint. Wait, what? Oh, Eddie. How do you forget that? That's a short name. It's cute though. It's it's fine. Eh, eto, Eddie. <laughs> Okay, compromise. I mean, why are you wearing shorts then? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Do they have rum raisin? <laughs> Literally everything but what you like. Didn't you just say that? <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. Can I have one? <laughs> uh, I see. Very considerate. Oh no, is that one of his friends? Oh. Oh. Okay. Does she know him? I don't think we've seen them interact. But, yeah, there's that connection. <laughs> so, yeah, she's, she's great. Yeah, good thing that didn't happen. <laughs> Encounter rate. I think it's a video game. Oh, ow. That was a little bit mean. Ow, jeez. I guess that's the rules of the game. I didn't know that. It's a very odd date, I must say. You know, already with the domestic violence. <laughs> I mean, it's essentially a date, just a, a, a strange one. Oh, this is like a Dagashia, I think. Looks like one. Yeah, Dagashia. Hey, you see like No No Myori or Shoju Ramane? <laughs> wow, what a deal. What a deal. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, those are the friends. They're not gonna see, are they? Of course the other kids would come to, to a Dagashia. <laughs> uh. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, I mean, imagine if they're seen back there, though. That could be, that could be awkward. <clears throat> Never heard of him. Takedo who? Trying to hunt him down. Uh, <laughs> did you have to phrase it like that? Yeah, they're, they're literally just trying to trying to track him. <laughs> It really was. Uh, Demon Coliseum, oh, a card pack? Aw, oh, that's nice. Uh, okay, this I still don't quite get why this is happening, but... <laughs> that's how we go sometimes. 
I mean, it's just a matter of she has a crush on him and she, she just took the opportunity to pursue it. I, I don't know, but there's got to be some kind of reveal. It's sad. Because, yeah, there's a big difference there. <clears throat> That's why I'm so suspicious. But... <laughs> oh, wow. I... Wow. Okay, I mean, the date's going better now. Oh, I was wondering what we were doing. I would not have guessed a unicycle. <laughs> well, mother approves, that's good. Be sure to knock first. <laughs> is that is that a compliment? I feel like it's not. She's in a chokehold. Some high level stuff. That's none of your business. But is she gonna, like, not keep it a secret? Because that could be an issue. Because I can definitely see rumors spreading one way or the other. Is she gonna be cold to him again? Uh, yeah. Saw that coming. Can't suddenly be closer at school, that'd be very suspicious. For one thing. You called her Ebby Chan, is that not clear? Yeah, I really was not expecting to get this much focus on the little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Onei Chan, why don't you get the importance of that? He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love Arashiyama. I mean, I know they're like all Arashiyama because it's her family name, but just that's what I call her, okay? Takeru, I just call Takeru. <laughs> well, okay, there was like no shoe drop or anything in regards to that. Like, especially early on, I thought there was some sort of scheme there, but I guess not. I guess she just has a crush on him and. But she just, you know, acts differently at school. But okay, I guess that's just a relationship that's now a thing. I mean, that's fine, I just really didn't expect that out of the episode. But it was just funny, but it was just cute. I... <laughs> just honest Shyama just rocking out over there. It's just fun to watch. Really wish Cohen would have more screen time. No concho. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, was that cut moving or was I, or was I losing my mind? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What do you got for us? Uh, exchange diary. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. Well, good job, detective. Well done. We'll give you 250 yen coins as compensation for that. Yeah, that's the gist of it.
<laughs> it happens. Pandora Maid Service. That is a really interesting title. That actually makes you really excited for next episode. I really want to know what that's about. Okay. Okay. Well, that was the... That was the fifth episode of Sora Demo Ma... What's the freaking title? Sora Demo Machiwa Mawate you do, I think is what it is. I always forget where the one that goes in the sentence for some reason. It just throws me off. But anyway, this episode, well, we got a lot. I mean, T T Toshiko, I think is her name. Not Toriko. I keep wanting, wanting to call her Toriko, but Toriko is not her name. So I will try not to call her Toriko. Uh, Toshiko. Yeah, we have to focus on her. She won these tickets and wanted to invite someone to go with her and, <clears throat> and struggled to do so. But, I mean, we didn't actually get a... We didn't actually see her successfully do it, did we? I mean, the last thing we saw on that was Sona, Sonada. He came to the, the place, and I guess we can kind of assume she asked him after that, but, you know, I don't think we actually saw it. I guess we'll just assume everything went well on that front. And uh, Arashiyama won some tickets, too, because she's just lucky, I guess. There was some talk of getting a new uniform, like a summer uniform. I don't know if that ever went anywhere, but it was talked about. And yeah, in that, in that first segment, one of the funniest bits was just Toshiko jumping down the stairs, doing kind of a superhero landing right on the teacher's toe. That had to hurt quite a bit. But she just kind of... What would you even call that method? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say floated her way out of it, because it doesn't sound quite right, but I don't know what a better word for it would be. You're just like, you know, uh, my bad, Sensei. Just, uh, you know, mistakes happen. My bad. I just, I'm sorry. I just... Uh, you know, it just accidents happen. I'm going to leave now. It's not quite what she said. I don't remember word for word what she said, but yeah, we had the, the blowing wind from the window, the sakura petals, the, the lighting. It's just, yeah, that was quite something. That was quite something. In our second half, we have little sister, because Arashiyama has like a little sister and a little brother, who both got some relevance in the episode, but mostly the brother. So, yeah, I guess she gets, she's trying her hand at being a detective too, because we know that's what Arash Arashiyama's really into that. So I guess she's getting into it a bit now too. So she just draws an excellent drawing of her just... Yeah, I mean, I got, if you put them side by side, I couldn't tell the difference between the drawing and the person. So, yeah, top tier art skills for sure. <clears throat> That was a brief bit, but then we focus on the the brother Takedu. Yeah, he's clearly you know he's got his, his his group of friends at school playing this cool card game, and we actually shot like a full on animation segment to to demonstrate how the game works. Definitely got some Yu-Gi-Oh vibes, but that's mostly just because that's the card game I'm most familiar with, because I watched the anime as a kid and I have I still have a decent amount of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the closet over there. But yeah, we uh, <clears throat> we played that. We got yelled at by by a girl for it. And later on, that same girl just kind of invites herself over to his place. You know, gave him a letter, even had a drawing on it. Dear Arashiyama kun, which confuses me because I called, uh, what is it, Hotori uh, Arashiyama because I think the name sounds cool, so that's what I want to call her. But, you know, of course, there's multiple Arashiyamas because it's the family name. But still, putting that aside, uh, can I come over and hang out at your house on Sunday? Ebichan. <clears throat> yeah, she even wrote Ebichan on the on the note <clears throat> and like a shrimp because you know Ebi Ebi means shrimp in Japanese. I learned that from Ik Ikamusume back in the day. So yeah, and this was obviously a pretty big surprise because all we really got from Ebi Ebi Ebichan was she kind of like scolded him, you know, about bringing his cards to school and playing with them and all that. So that kind of gave us the impression that she didn't like Takeru, but if you really sit down and think about it objectively, it doesn't really necessarily mean that, really, you know? It doesn't, doesn't have to mean that at all. That's such a small sample size of of uh, experiences to judge her feelings towards him. So, but it was, it was obviously first impressions are important. Like, so I'm, I'm speaking from the audience perspective mostly at this point. But yeah, that's why we thought it was really weird for her to suddenly invite herself over. I mean, Takadu clearly considered it weird because he's just like spending most of the time being in panic, uh, wariness mode like okay why why does she want to come over for what purpose like i didn't know we were that close like we're not friends like you know she just she just comes over so yeah I, I, me too just kind of sitting here wondering what the deal is wondering if there'll be any kind of reveal like because for a good chunk of the especially like the first half of the scene i was wondering i was thinking maybe she had some sort of scheme to just embarrass him or something like i didn't i wasn't quite sure but it was such a sudden thing that i expected there to be some sort of scheme behind it but it seems like, no, it seems like she just likes him, and she finally decided to 
pursue that by inviting herself over. But like we never really saw her act embarrassed or anything or anything like because earlier in the episode we got we we got a uh, you know Toshiko kind of being that kind of character right like you know there's a boy I like I want to invite him to the thing but you know I can't it's hard it's embarrassing like what do I do you know so that's kind of I was so my mind was kind of in that sort of mode but then we have then we have Abby John who who did none of that she's just like hey can I come over it's like okay that's sure like I guess and then they just they just hung out you know like there was none of that kind of otome maiden you know kind of nervousness that you might associate with that sort of first romance kind of thing but you know seems to be legit so i don't know that was just such a sudden thing i mean just talk to focus in general was pretty sudden like i wasn't really expecting that but you know it was a pretty normal day for the most part <laughs> like talk was pretty worried that his friends would see but luckily in the end they didn't so that didn't happen either but we had a bit of a name discussion you know because obviously if you refer to each other by your given name as a sign of of closeness but it can also be embarrassing to do that's one of those things that I've, i don't really understand fully because it's not part of my culture but you know anime characters as well as like real japanese people you know i see on youtube that's clearly just a thing you know like a big deal referring to somebody with a first name you know especially without honorific that's just yeah that's just that kind of thing it is that i can, can never truly understand but it was on display here so yeah, we got that all settled. Calling her Abby Chun. And ice cream. She wanted vanilla. They didn't have vanilla. And she wanted strawberry. They didn't have strawberry. That's just life for you. So then you just like grab whatever was on top for her. But she seemed to like it. So that's pretty cool. And we went to, yeah, Dag Dagashia, you know. And oh, yeah, we met Cohen too, who apparently is fairly close to Takeru. Like, I know, I know she obviously seen him at some point because she is friends with, uh, with Arashiyama. But yeah, they seemed fairly buddy buddy there. Honestly, it was a bit unexpected. But, you know, I guess Cohen's just a really friendly person, so I guess that's fine. And we actually took refuge, like, in the Dagashi, like, in the back room. So, yeah, good thing we were able to do that. And she even gave him, like, a card pack, which was such a nice thing, because it's, like, an acknowledgement of his hobby, like, some support of it. So that was really cool. Like, that felt pretty genuine. That's when I started to really think that, okay, maybe maybe it's not some kind of scheme. Maybe this is genuine. Maybe she's just trying to get closer to him, you know, giving him something that she knows he likes. You know, that's always a good first step to developing a bond, you know, focus on something that person likes and kind of, you know, giving it to them, letting them experience some of it through you. Like that's that's a good way to do that. And then he had that line about, you know, not wanting to put it in his deck because he wouldn't know which ones are hers any or anymore. You know, that was also a nice line. It was just like a really sweet scene in general. Like just such just, just weird that we got it in the show, you know. And the neck, and we also unicycle. Uni uni that was also quite random. We just have him and her like. He, I guess he's teaching how to ride a unicycle. I don't know. I just even just saying that out loud, it just still sounds so random. Like, I don't know. Just a freaking unicycle. That's a thing. Also, there's a bit of a jab towards Arashiyama about getting along well with elementary schoolers. Obviously, the implication being that she has a sort of childish mentality, you know, immaturity. So that was funny. And then he calls her Ebichan at school and gets hit, you know. And that's what cemented the idea in his head that girls are just kind of mysterious creatures that are hard to understand. So I do like how much how much amusement Arashiyama got out of that, him saying that. That was pretty funny. And then that final bit with the exchange to hurry with the sister. You know, some of that the whole detective thing coming back. Just this is just a really good show. I really, really enjoy it. It's just so unpredictable. But not like it's it's kind of it's crazy, but not to the level of being like feeling like it's too much. Like it still feels fairly grounded in reality. It was sort of. But yeah, it's just really interesting and fun cast of characters we have in this show. And you're never quite sure what they're going to do, you know, who they're going to meet up with, what they're going to do that day. <sighs> just, there was, yeah, I don't know what more to say about this episode. Just, all the talk to do stuff was so unexpected. But it was, it was, there was a lot of good stuff there. Like, I almost want more of that now. I don't know, but, like, I like so many of the characters in the show. There's so many characters that just want to have more screen time, but there's only a limited amount of screen time to go around. It's So it's a little bit of a contradiction. So, also, a teacher, I think, ate her snacks or whatever. That One of the early scenes. That was messed up. And, yeah, that's all we got this in. The show continues to have a lot of shafty bits with, you know, camera angles and black bars and head tilts and a lot of that stuff really still feels very shafty which is cool but yeah i would definitely be more than okay with more of the takadu ebichan stuff like that actually i was starting to get pretty into that honestly 
oddly enough, which I really did not think would be the case when we started focusing on him, but that was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, it almost reminded me of, uh, what's that show called? Uh, Tak- it's not Takashi, it's not Takashi, it's, um, the Takagi, Takagi, yeah, Takagi Master Skillful Teaser, whatever the, whatever that show was called. It reminded me a little bit of that almost. And that's a show I, I like a lot as well, but... So yeah, cool episode. I liked it. It's a great show. Great episode. I had fun with it. I look forward to watching more. You know you know the drill by now. So until next time, Johnny. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.